Hey guys, so today I'm here with another vlog and I haven't made one of these videos, these types of videos in like weeks and it's uh, good to be back making my videos that I used to be making and um, except today is uh, really special because this is like a week away from my elk hunt that's coming up in on the uh, 7th I believe. Uh, so I'm gonna have to miss a couple days of school so I can go elk hunting with my dad. Um, this year, unlike last year, we only went one. Uh, we only went hunting one time last year for elk, and that was in late rifle season, I believe. I think it was late rifle season, um, and we didn't find anything. But our uh, buddy did. Uh, he went. We went in a big group, and it was his first time ever shooting an animal. I think I think it was his first time shooting an animal, but it was his first time shooting an elk, and um, he shot a good-looking elk. Uh, we got lots of meat from it, and he also shot a small buck too. As they were gutting the elk, uh, they told us that right out of the corner of his eye, he saw a movement. He looked over, and there was a small buck over there, and he shot it. And uh, so last year was pretty successful not for us not for me and my dad but for our group it was su successful uh, we had gotten a bull two cows and that buck and yeah so oh, shoot no that's bad no all right I'm back guys sorry about that he was chewing on my new John Deere pillows back there um, so as you can see we got Granger here with us today uh, he definitely needs a haircut. You can hardly even, uh, hardly even tell it's him, because uh, last in our, in our last video that I made with him, he used to have a little shorter hair. So he needs a haircut. Getting him a haircut pretty soon. Uh, so yeah. So back onto the subject we were talking about. Um, this year we're going um, muzzle loading uh, in Gunnison, Colo Gunnison, Colorado. And I got a draw tag there, uh, so it's a good area, a really good area. And I'm hoping I can get an elk this year. I have a good feeling about it. Um, tomorrow, wait, no, I think on Sunday, me and my buddy Nick are going to go um, up to Gunnison in that area and scout a little bit. And um, on the way up, we're going to shoot my muzzleloader again. So then um, I can get a little more comfortable um, uh, shooting it because I'm not really comfortable with it yet because it's like a brand new rifle. So it's kind of weird how it shoots um, because every single shot that I was perfectly lined up with, it would go down and to the right um, pretty far away from the bullseye. So then I aimed... Um, up more into the left and then nailed the bullseye straight on and uh, yeah so I'm gonna see if that's what I'm gonna have to do all the time because that's why we're gonna go up there and shoot it again so I can see um, if that's what I have to do so then I know what I should be aiming at on the elk whenever I shoot at it so I can try and take him out as quickly as possible and um, yeah so enough of the talking. I'm gonna show you guys what stuff that we're packed. We have packed already. Um, we ha still have a bunch more to go, and I believe today we're going to get my get my dad and I's hunting four wheeler today uh, from Bass Pro. I don't remember what it's what kind of four wheeler it is, um, but it's a red one, and it's really cool. And I'm gonna try and put it in this video. Hey, Granger, no! Don't do that. No. <clears throat> We're just going to have to keep an eye on Granger. I can see him, like, out of the camera right here. Because uh, I have, like, a little f uh, thing that attaches to my GoPro that I use. And it has, like, a flap open where I can see what I'm filming. Don't you think about it, bud. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So let's go and show... I'm going to show you guys what we have packed already. And we still have a bunch more to pack, but I'm just going to show you what we have so far. So, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. 
So before I show you guys the stuff that we have packed, I'm going to show you my new bag I got. It's my, um, my pack that I'm going to be using on our elk hunt because I haven't, I didn't really have one last, last season. I did, but it was a, just a super cheap backpack that we got that was camo, camo. But this one, we, um, spent a little bit more money on it. It wasn't the most expensive. It's a really, really good bag. But it was really cheap online, and we got it on uh, LLBean.com. It's an LL Bean bag, and it's literally just like a Badlands, ba uh, Badlands pack. Um, if you don't know what a Badlands pack looks like, I'm sure you do, but let's put one up there if you haven't seen one before. And it also looks like a Tenzing bag. Uh, not look. Well, it does look like one too, but like the fabric that they used for it is like the same. And it was only 69 bucks. That's actually a really good deal for a pack like this. And and it's a little bigger, bigger than a uh, Badlands pack. So it's the same texture. It's that soft, like, uh, that's supposed to not make as much noise whenever it hits, like, twigs and stuff. Um, so that's why I like it, too. And I think it's waterproof. It's got these clips on here. I'll try and show it to you guys. I hope you guys can see it. But it's all camo. It's got some clips right here, zippers. So I'm going to show you guys what the inside looks like. And if you guys want to get some, uh, one of these for your, for yourselves uh, for this upcoming elk season, then um, just go to llbean.com, and I'm sure they have more. My dad is the one that found it, so... And it's like two drawstring bags. Well, it's not really two, but they put one uh, thing on here to close up, so then that makes it another layer, so it's less um, likely for water to get inside. So I had to do undo one, and then I had to undo two, and then there's like a drawstring bag that's inside of it. It's not going anywhere. It's like sewn onto the bag. It's a really big bag. It's really big. Um, it's literally the size of my torso, probably even even bigger. So I should be able to fit everything I need for my elk hunt in here. So this is like the perfect size, and it's pretty light. So that's really that's really good. And in here, we got a side pocket. I'm probably gonna put like I don't really know what I'm gonna put in here. Probably my calls or something if they're not on my neck and a water bottle or something so yeah it's a really good pack it has a uh, front where it's the straps are um, and yeah it's a really good pack I'm really happy it came in before hunting season started before hunting season starts and yeah so you guys will be you guys will see me wearing this in our elk hunting video that's gonna come up soon so yeah so now that I've shown you that let's go out and uh, see the stuff that we have packed okay so guys it's all our stuff is in the garage right now um, our garage is actually uh, pretty messy I mean we have it all like organized but we do have a lot of stuff um, so yeah so don't mind that stuff just the kind of stuff that we have packed let me move this trash can real quick so I can get to the table so we have our table set up right here with all our stuff we have so far so in here we have our lantern, our Coleman lantern. We got two walkie talkies. We're, I might, we might be getting uh, different ones. I'm not really sure, but I'm sure these will do. Um, we got a windicator here. Um, it's a thing. If you guys don't know what it is, it's like I think it's powder, and um, you squeeze it and it puffs out of the um, puffs out of the bottle. And the wind will take it where the wind's going, so then you know where your scent is blowing. So then if you hear elk, you can uh, squeeze it, squeeze the windicator, see where the wind's blowing, and make sure that their scent's not blowing towards the elk. So that's a really useful tool. Um, I have another one of those for me, so my dad can have that one and I can have another one. Mine's a dead down wind, dead down wind one. So, yeah, so we got one of those. Um, we got one of these for some reason, I guess just in case we need it. <laughs> um, these pieces, of, this piece of wood, I don't know what we're going to do with that. I think my dad just set it here. 
And we got uh, some scent killer stuff. Uh, it's a clothing spray stuff. Oh yeah, it's a refill for this. It's a refill for the spray. And we got some... Get my workout gloves out of here. We got some big game bags. Put all our meat in whenever we... Uh, whenever we harvest one. Um, these we had last year and I wish I did upload that video. I didn't have much clip, that many clips, um, so I, that's probably why I didn't make it. But last year we bought these. They were really good water bottles. They stayed cold throughout the day and we just got them at Bass Pro for like 20 bucks, redhead brand. They just have like this little uh, I don't know what you call it, but like a sleeve thing on it. It's got a belt clip-on thing, I believe that is. And they're all dirty because last year, whenever we were uh, there, it was freezing cold, like unbearable cold. And my feet literally felt like I had frostbite. It was so bad. And uh, the, it just poured down snow in the morning, early in the morning. And, uh, we got, like, maybe, it wasn't that much snow, but it was enough to be really annoying the next morning on our hunt, because all the snow was melting, it made the trails all messy, it was falling down from the trees, so you didn't really hear an elk if it was coming, and, yeah, it was just a, it was just not good. Um, so that's why I'm really excited for muzzleloading season because it's already it's still summer pretty much, and it's gonna be hot. It's still gonna be uh, um, hot weather, I guess you could say. It might not be hot, but it'll be good weather for elk hunting. And um, yeah, so they're all dirty because when that snow melted, the trails just got all messy and muddy, and we didn't have any uh, mud guards on our four wheeler. At the time, it was a just a racing four-wheeler. Uh, it wasn't really made for hunting, so we got like low. We just got mud poured on us because of the wheels ripping it up. Uh, so yeah, so that's the water bottles we got, and we got some um, propane, little propane things to start uh, little fires if we need to if we're in a sticky situation I guess you could call it don't really know what's in that plastic bin um, um, this stuff I think my dad just said that here set that right here um, we got ponchos just in case if it rains we got this tape here just so we can set it on the trees and uh, uh, find our way back if we need it and um, we got a little cooker thing that we could use on that it's got a bunch of stuff in it. Don't really want to open it. Got matches. We got a tarp. Survival tarp, just in case we need it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for our stuff right now. And we got three coolers that we're going to bring. I think we're going to bring all three. Uh, but yeah, so that's all for now. Um, we don't have much yet. But um, once again, we are still packing. And... Uh, we will be well prepared for this season because last year we learned a lot of stuff um, and we learned a lot about what we need to bring that next season and stuff. So this year we are probably going to be way well more prepared and way more ready than we were last year. So I'm super excited for uh, this elk hunting season coming up in less than a week. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. It's really short, just wanted to make a video for you guys because I want to make sure you guys have videos to watch every week because as you see in my outro, I say I make videos every week and I try to stay to my schedule so you guys are, uh, so you guys stay active on the channel and so I can keep my subscriber count at a good level. So, yeah. So I also, we, me and my dad also got this uh, cooler for our elk hunting trip. Okay guys, so here's the cooler. Um, it's really big. It's really cool because we decorated it and it was all just solid white. We got it from Sam's Club. Um, I think we got it for 60 bucks and originally I think it was like around 200 which is a really good deal. It's got the latches on it and 
when we open it. Hold on. Got lots of room in there for meat. Latch that back up. And we took some sharp. I took some sharpies. It was my dad's idea, and I really liked the idea. Um, I took some sharpies, and I marked the little measurements on here. That makes it a little cooler than it was earlier. Just solid instead of just solid white. And we put some cool brands on here just to make it look cool. We got my logo on there, which is really cool. Printed it out and taped it. We made it look like stickers, so um, we put clear uh, packaging tape on there. Um, it says Max Cold down here. That was just all solid white, and we colored the like the raised letters. We colored that. Looks cool. We got Bass Pro down here. We got Cabela's Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, and we colored the Igloo logo. And we put Onyx Hunt. If you don't know what Onyx Hunt is. It's pretty much a map thing. Instead of using a GPS that you can get at like Bass Pro and stuff, um, just use your phone and download a app called Onyx Maps. Lots of um, you, lots of hunters use this, such as um, Born and Raised Outdoors. They're a great YouTube channel. Go check them out. They're really awesome. Um, and also go check out um, uh, Randy Newberg. I believe his name is. If I'm wrong, then go down in the comment section below. Um, actually, go in the description, and I'm going to put these YouTube channels down, because you guys need to check these guys out. They're awesome. Uh, so I got my YouTube channel logo right there. Uh, we got Avery on there. It's a uh, waterfowl decoy brand. I believe they make other stuff, too, probably. Um, they got Ducks Unlimited. And yeah, so it looks really cool. I'm glad we did this instead of just leaving it all white. It was a good idea by my dad. I really like it. Um, took us a while to make it actually, but um, it turned out really good. And yeah, so you'll also be seeing this in our um, elk hunting video. I'm going to show you guys, uh, um, I'm going to be filming me and my dad um, gutting the elk and stuff and cutting all the meat off and I'm just gonna try and make a time lapse depending on how much battery life I have um, but yeah so I have a good feeling about this season it's gonna make a good video so you guys should stay, should stay tuned for it and yeah so this is pretty much it for this video uh, thank you guys for watching I know it's a short video kinda of boring but I just wanted to show you guys what stuff we have packed so far this year and yeah so thank you guys for watching Leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for the elk hunting video coming up soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye.